Yo, welcome back to my first playthrough of Days Gone on PS4. In this video, we're going to do the mission. This could be it. We've got a guy on a mission with Sarah, so let's head back to the base. Uh, do reduce speed because we're in the base. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not finished with me? Yes. Be there in a few secs. Here we are. Hold up. You want one alive? <laughs> Kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. Jesus. You're so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Well, wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Nudes. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of nudes. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. Huh. Basically a horde of newts. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. You're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry out. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Let's have a look on the map and see if it's given us another objective. Uh, nope, not yet. Sir, I'm here. All right. Oh yeah, I know this place. Female wearing a red shirt, one of those kids' shirts. It says like Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. Yeah, I've been here before. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. I'm okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. I have to get much closer. I got a tranquilizer. Shouldn't have tagged them all, really. You really just want to tag the one... It's wearing the red shirt. Thank you. 
Prince wearing a red shirt, I can't see. Fall for that, do they? Where's this red motherfucker? Bastards. Should tie it up, stuff shit in its mouth. Carry it like that. I put a bag over it. Said, "Nice claws." Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. I better tie that sucker down. Ah. <laughs> 
Come on, help me. Oh my god. Yeah, well, the biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. Tie it down. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. Oh shit. Tight down. But that thing stinks like fuck. I don't know what you put in that. Yeah, tight down, so motherfucker. Fast. Damn it! But you, you're, you're not making a bioweapon. You're. You can't reverse that shit. Their bodies decay too much. I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus. Yeah, maybe if you've antibody. just got a fresh bit, fresh bite. But when you're in that Everything state. Everything that I have worked on is for nothing. If they're like that, you'll never cure them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. But if they got a fresh bite, then yeah, I guess they could cure that from turning them into one. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... <laughs> he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something I'm thinking you know what fuck you fuck you because even if she is alive you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find her we're gonna ride away we're never gonna look back because I don't want to be part of some militia I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp so why are you still here because of you all of this seeing how hard you work seeing how dedicated you are most people out there are just trying to survive and here you are I'm gonna save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. I don't need to try and not get caught leaving the camp then. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. We know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? 
<clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Back up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure. Night palm. Understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you talking, man? Gentlemen. This is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I, figured that I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> You need a scope for that thing. I've got more Molotovs, ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. <laughs> okay. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Here we go. Napalm.
I have a good loot around before I chase after that horde. More bounties. All right, time to search and set up some traps. Some places to set some bombs around here. Should have brought our bike down here, really, so I can save it after setting up just in case I die. Again. I want all bombs to be by um, explosives if we can. Just don't want to get blown up in the process. Oxygen tanks. These would blow up pretty good. Oh, I can't pick that one up for some reason. bombs I must try and get them to chase me don't know if I'll be able to get close enough To throw the napalm on them directly. Yeah. 
Here you go! Time to die! Uh-oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Still loads. I've got any other proxim no proximities. in a long time. Let's go, boys! Right here! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Press me for you! How's that feel, huh? Come on, you son of bitches! You like that, do you? Yeah, come on! Come on. I love the Thompson, it's one of my favourites. No, no, time to burn him down. <laughs> I can't believe it. You did it. You wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no my first mate. No problem. I collect all these fucking bounties now. After all that hard work, uh, you used up loads of our no, supplies. John, in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, cool. uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. We'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. Make sure we've got everything. Make sure we can pick up some stuff that we weren't able to earlier to replenish some of our used up stock. I could bring out the LMGs as my special weapon to take out the horde, but the Tommy gun is awesome, man. As you saw, it's really good to wipe out the freaks, especially when you're using focus. 
Alright, let's pick up all these bounties. There were so many, it's unreal. That big explosion killed loads around here. I would have thought I took out loads with these barrels. I mean, there is loads of bodies here. But there was just so many of them, it was unreal. Ah, oh, they all came through here. Not many came through here, look, because I had two barrels. How many did we kill over here? Because these ones we basically killed by throwing the napalm. And we fucking killed a ton of them. All these ones must have been on fire and tried to run. So yeah, napalm's alright. I thought it would be much better. See how many uh, bounties we've got total now. We did have like 400 or something already. We've got 725 now, so we've got like about 300 odd. getting here. It's a shame because there is stuff in there. Can't get through there. That's like a one entry place. Oh, we can't get up through climbing up either. So what's next? Return to Captain Curry for a new mission you alone I have seen. Tons of those bastards. That like gasoline canister's moved. <laughs> Keep hitting that map button on my thumb, man. PS4 controller is so small. As you know, but if you've been looking at my channel, I usually play Xbox One. I just get the exclusives to the PS4 because they're sick. to the bike now. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of them. Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war.
How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up, B. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... been a... Walk with me, son. Please. So Corey, he must have, he's seen Deacon and Sarah kissing at one point, so he probably grasped them up. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Boom, another mission there, you alone I have seen. Shame they've moved Sarah down there, it's going to be a nightmare for them to try and escape. When they want to be together. John, this is Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Hurry out. <laughs> important project? What project? Couple of missions to do now. Um, let's go check in on Colonel Garrett for the next video. So, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that shit. If Sir, not, go fuck there. yourself. If I see you in my next video after this dialogue. I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant, sorry, yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes, it grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh, got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out.
I got any need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests, gonna need Molotovs.